Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 21st of January and a challenge Saturday. Today we're bringing in three Glitchers officers while going as fast as possible. We are Silent, Vindictive, X Foundry. We got a hammer that we can't bash dash with. We got a slipstream that we can't pathfind with and a couple or a few crash beams and a cold fire. I've got a little mark here already because I accidentally clicked, started it, but I haven't done anything. So let's get going. We've got wrenches, nice to have, emergency shields. We're trying to go as fast as possible so I don't care about alarms or anything. To worry a little about getting shot by them. Also sentry guns. Sentry guns are a bit scary when I can't slipstream pathfind or bash dash out of the way of. So let's hope it goes fine. Let's hope we can get through the whole ship with just the three slipstreams. Three seconds, all right. These set or challenge Saturdays with five use slipstreams are always a lot of fun. You can just use them as much as you want. Um, okay, so first key, we can run up and bash you. Reinforcements don't care about that at all. This key's pretty far out of the way. This key's a little out of the way and also closer to the target. So we're going down here. We've got crash beam if we absolutely need to, but I don't think we will. All right. Slipstream and run. I can... I can just, like, throw this behind you. Always note, never throw a melee weapon in front of you if you are slipstreaming. You will almost certainly smack yourself. Let's see, I can get them to teleport. No, I'm silent. Annoying. But oh well. All right, use our second slipstream. Run over here. Get your attention, I suppose, and toss hammer, because shooting would be not that helpful. And then get the key. All right, we are capturing. Need to keep that in mind. All right, if we can get... I'm keeping a close eye on this because I don't want to go flying out the window. All right, we're good. We get that. And then we get flung. And we can give you a shot because we don't care about you. And then we're not allowed to pathfind to stop our quick being flung off. But there's nothing in the rules about using a tool to get you to stop moving. Cool. All right. We get from you a visitor that could be quite useful. Swapper, very nice. Take that wrench, take those guns. And I'm, oh, we're at six seconds. Oh, that was so close. So close to being under 10. But I don't think that's happening. And I'll pick up one of these, shoot this out, use the last slipstream, pick him up and run. And that went way too far. But you're already at seven seconds. 
So, yeah, that wasn't happening in under 10 seconds without an amazing dock, unfortunately. Yeah, I did lose. I did lose a good seconder, though, on that pickup. But oh well. All right, next we have more glitch dashers. They don't have the keys though. Target fleas, that should be fine. Can't swap in from space. Take an extra wrench, all right. Pretty much beginning of three seconds. Very nice, but this is a long ship. This is not happening in under 10 seconds. So I might consider going for like that crate or something. And we're gonna be using most of our slipstreams as it is. Let's see, so if we go down, we've got easy key, easy key. That puts us pretty close to here. Over here, we can still get easy key, easy key. It's pretty much exactly the same, actually. I think the big diff. Ooh, the big difference is we have scrambler gates. So that means we can run down here and then get crashed and then we'll still have momentum and get flung down here. Whereas if we went this way, we get crashed, and then we get flung that way. Then we could stop it with... Eh. Okay, and then this way we can activate it again, get crashed, get flung this way. This way. Eh, we could technically do that this way as well, but we'd lose most of our speed going down here. So I think going down is slightly better. We also have a visitor. Is that any use? I don't think that's any use. A swapper is potentially of some use. I'm going to leave a gun here. And a wrench. Okay. Give you a shot. Get your key. Slightly worried about you thwacking me, so we'll give you a shot. And also take your wrench. Uh, target fleas just makes them... Let's see, where are they going? Over here. Yeah, target fleas just brings them closer to us, so that's perfectly fine. And then we get crashed. Woo! <laughs> Hello. Give you a nice shot. Deactivate and get your key. Sure, take a wrench. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. I'll take a gun. And then slipstream. And just tie up loose ends. Okay, so the cool thing is we can use this moment right there so normally if you're controlling the slipstream if you stop to remote control you'll just stop yourself but once you run through the scrambler gate your momentum carries through so you can then use that time to get the pod moving while I still go through the ship and bonk 
Uh, that's enough. Okay. Yeah, if this if we if we didn't have silence, it would have been better to stop the alarm from going off so we could get them to teleport to us, but sadly that's not the case. I am wondering if it would be worth it to say swap and then swap. Or maybe swap and then drag you around. We've only got one slipstream left and that'll... If we swap with you, we could definitely get you and then go around. I think I'll swap with you. Stash those, stash those as well, I suppose. And then we go bloop. Slipstream. No X Foundry triggers yet. All right, and then I can give you a smack up here. Smack myself a little bit. Ooh, key cloner, don't mind if I do. Where's the pod? That's in an okay spot. Pick up and run down. And then it should, let's see, I can go ahead and give you a toss. You'll go faster than me for the time being. Give you a shot just in case you drop something. Nope. Pod's a little out of place, but that's fine. And then pick up toss. Shot. And walk out while remote controlling. And yeah, not even close to under 10 seconds for this one. But that was expected. There we go. Nice purple. Very purple. That's more magenta. And out we go. Okay. 11 seconds would be quite good if it weren't for the time penalty. But alas. Uh, we've got one wrench on the pod already and a gun. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, armor. That's the guard that we're going to have to deal with getting out of the ship. Target, please. Autopilot tracker. Defender. We've got crash beams. We don't have a shotgun. So the traditional guard bashing propulsion is uh, slightly limited. I think I'll go with this. Have one of each, and then we've got one of each on the pod. All right, extreme range key cloner. If there is a locked door, we are using it. And there it is. This is still pretty long. But we do have swappers and visitors available. We've got slipstream visitor. Oh, oh, I just realized. I should have considered maybe doing that in ship two, but I don't know if that would have worked out. be a bit awkward using visitors on using a bunch of visitors on uh, non glitch proof spots okay 
that's gotta work. Yeah. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. If this was long range, that would be great because we could get from like here to here and save some time. So my two options are I can start off with a visit going in with the idea that I'd be able to get through all of this in two seconds. No, nah, that doesn't work because I need a capture. If it was a kill, I could potentially do that. All right, so we'll wait on the visitor till closer to the end. Start off with Slipstream and a clone. Let's see, what, how many keys do we need? Just need to get up to four and you're level three. So yeah, we don't have to save up on those unless we want to try and get this crate or something. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. Okay, so what's the good swapper use? I think our best swapper use is with the target themselves. So probably crash and take out the tracker, swap with the target. Swap with the tracker. do a visit or swap but we could do a visit bash visit swap visit I like that visit Visit. Visit. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yee. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and we also have the... Alright, so we had... We have one X Foundry trigger. That doesn't really matter. But that's fine. Okay, so how many... Eh, let's just see if this works. Okay, no extras on the slipstream. That was a bit of a gamble that didn't pay off. Crash you for safety. So I can do swap, visit, visit, swap, visit. All right, all right, all right. So I can do this. Go ahead and shoot you because you might have something useful. Run up here, give you a Bash. A crash beam is not that useful. I should have tried to shoot the tracker. Should have tried to shoot the tracker for their gun. All right, let's see if we can get all three of these visits off. Might as well take care of the riffraff while we're waiting.
No, wait, that's the gun I just dropped. No, it isn't. Okay, so we're just waiting on visitor now. All right, so visit down here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot to ensure that they get taken out, even if something happens to me. Maybe that was a bad idea, but too late to stop it now. Okay, so they got insta brought over. We got an extra swapper, but nothing to use it with. Oh well. Yeah, that was a slight mistake. Yep, messed that up. Uh, we can crash this. All right. All right, visitor ended up being the fastest way out anyways, but it's too late for that. So we can remote control and try and capture ourselves. Yeah, even with those speedy strats, getting under 10 seconds was not on the table, it seems. Okay, but we got through it all and just barely missed the deadline. <laughs> By one minute, so close. So close. If I spent less time thinking about things on ship three, we would have been fine. But alas, that is what I do. Too much thinking. Uh, 13 seconds. Okay. So, yeah, I think I lost time to pickups more than anything else. Uh, with the tools that I had, nothing I could do to get a better penalty time. Uh, I guess the exception would be going for more crates. Getting something like a Sidewinder could have really helped on Ship 3. It could have really helped. Uh, still managed to get first place. Very nice. So yeah, pickups were the weakest point, but pickups are difficult on these because there's not much opportunity for you to remote control the pod and get it in a good position and stuff. So it's understandable. But yeah. All right. Yeah, pretty happy with today's. Doing WASD movement for slipstreams is always fun and a, a neat thing to like play around with that I don't normally do. Uh, yeah, yesterday, 7 2, coming in first by two seconds. Very nice job. 5 99, 33 seconds. Very good. Very good. And we have me coming in second, Lassar coming in third, Tea Cake in fourth, and Sick J in fifth. We're also everybody in the top five is also everybody that got a perfect style bonus. So very good job. So yeah, we have some faster times down here, but faster times doesn't mean much if the alarm goes off. Uh, yeah, so very good job, everybody. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. We've got a preview of Easy Sunday. Automatic shotgun. That's going to be a rampage. Silent automatic shotgun. And a stealth shield. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.